Hey guys, it's your boy, Classiest Noodle, here today about uh, opening up some Yu-Gi-Oh card packs, mystery card packs. We got these cards from dollar stores, so they're third parties, so some of them might not even be in English or any good at all. Here we are. Here's the card packs, got three of them. Right here. 40 cards in each pack. Uh, there's no guaranteed rares or ultra rares or even just maybe they're all ultra rares. It doesn't really matter. There's no guarantees of uh, what's going to actually be in here. They could all be just commons, but uh, who knows? They're just like recycled little packs. So some of them could be from like five years ago. Some of them could be even 10 years ago since the beginning of Yu Gi Oh! You could get a Dark Magician. Alright, let's open this. Real tendency. Give this a go. All right, first pack. Let's see what we got here. All right, all right, all right. Just gotta flip these cards. Most of them are upside down. Go. Uh, upside down. Ooh, those are looking like some good cards. As you can see, they don't really care about what's in these packs. They just throw whatever is in, whatever they got. All right. So, starting off, Bender at Daybreak. That's controls more than one. Choose one. That's not bad. I don't know. Since all these are just random, most of these cards aren't actually going to have any relation to each other, so it's kind of an issue. We got the White Dragon Wyver Buster right here. Not bad, not bad. 1700 attack and pretty low def or 1800 defense. Sorry, definitely interpreted that wrong. It's not bad. Just leave out those cards there so you guys can see. Right there. Uh, ooh, Skill Dark Magician. That's pretty good. Right there. The Piranha Army. Spell damage this card and flex by attacking your opponent's light points directly is doubled. Alright, that's not bad. It's only 800, so 1600, but still, not bad. The Mecha Phantom Beast Jackie Listen. Alright. First edition, yeah. That's not bad. Nice. All right. So far, a decent, uh, decent pack actually. A phantasm spiral dragon. Ooh. All right. It's got no ability or anything, so it's. I mean, it's kind of useless in a sense as. It's nothing but hey that's not bad next card we got is heraldic beast Am oh i don't even know how they come up with some of these names heraldic beast Am something 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 that's what all i'm gonna say about that not bad not bad 1700 attack 1100 defense Ooh, you can discard one other Her heraldic Beast monster, special summon this monster card from your hand. Once per turn, you can discard one Heraldic Beast monster. This card gains 800 attack until the end of the turn. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Nah. Uh, gift exchange, that's kind of useless. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. Ooh. Alright. Wow, next card is a special little sauce on that one. Red Dragon Archfiend. And then Gan Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. Damn, I can't read that very well. Cannot be special summoned. You can pay half your life points to surrender cards if possible. And then it gains its 300 attack. That's that's pretty damn good. Wow, that's only this is only half the pack. And I'm still I'm liking what we got. Red Dragon Archfiend. Not bad. Not bad at all. Synchro. Nice, nice. 
Lang Lee right there. That's not, nah. It's a common, that's all I can tell. Breakaway, meh. Watch Cat, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card. It's bad, but it's got 1800 defense, so that's not bad. Uh, Mammy Mickey. Ah, not bad. Defrag Dragon. Eh. Primal Cry. Venue Bright Bird of Divinity. Okay. Fusion Regalia the Jewel. Lockout Gardena. Something that I don't even know how to say that. Fiend Ritual. Demise Agent of Armageddon. Armageddon. Ah, meaning the ritual summoned. So. That's actually not that bad. That's only like half of the deck. The rest of these are meh. I think what I'm going to do is display the good cards from each pack that I opened. And then the common cards I'll just kind of keep away because, well, they're not, they're not interesting. Alright, well, well, that's half that pack. Time to move to the other half. See what we got here. Oh, I hate pendulum. Not a fan. Uh, another pendulum. I don't know why they came up with pendulum cards in this game. I'm uh, trying to figure out something new. Keep it updated, I guess. Performable selfish crab. Oh, that sucks. Crusader Regulix, not bad. I mean, it's a link. I'm not a fan of link cards either. Gooky Tag Partner, mm. Phantom Knights, wrong Mag Magnet Tring, wrong Primal Cry, got that already from that other pack. Limit Code, nope. Uh, Beast Magic, nah. Crawler Dendrite, Grappler Angler. Painful Escape. Alright. What do you got? Tribute one monster, add one monster of the same original type, tra tribute, and level, but with a different original name. From your deck or graveyard to your hand. That could be actually a pretty good card. If you can set it up right. Wow. Doulette Chimera. It's a link card though, so... I don't know. I don't treat the link cards or pendulum cards as, as important, because I don't believe they're Good. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Number 36. Anomaly Chateau Hyuk. I definitely butchered that name. Alright. XYZs. Not bad. I'm gonna keep that one out. Right there. Criston Rion. Ryan. Machine Tuner. Alright. DDD Super Doom King Purple Armageddon. <laughs> what a name. What a name. For the pendulum cards, so they suck. <laughs> Try a Tendangle Intruder, Zodiac Gathering, Limit Code again, Boycotton. Right there. Wow, 2500 defense. Oh. You take any battle damage from your opponent would have taken from battles involving this card. Instead, this card battles is not destroyed, and you took it. Ah, so this card sucks. And Alter Guys Pixel. So yeah, when it looks like they definitely stacked all the good cards on that one side. But still, that's not a bad pack. Just a little recap of what we got that is half decent. Mecha Beast, Mecha Phantom, Phantasm Spiral, the Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, Gandora, the Dra Dragon of Destruction, and Heraldic. Something Heraldic. I can't name it because I don't know its name. That's essentially the cards that are decent out of that deck. So I don't know. That's not bad. I'd say for four dollars, that's a pretty good um, a deck. All right. 
So, two more packs. Alright, let's see what we can get out of those. Opening up the next one. Put that aside. Whoops. My bad. Alright. And now it's time to take a peek of what's in this one. Put that to the side. Gain. So I'm just going to show the cards that are worth actually showing. From these decks and then everything else I can just put away. Wow. And two upside more down cards. All right. So, look out, lock out Gardena. Not bad, not bad. Take that over here. No, oh, I can sit in the pile. Mimir of the Nordic Ascent. It's a common card. Link Streamer. Mm, common. Mirror. Mirror Barrel, Mini Boral Dragon, meh. Primal Cry, gotten three of those already. Vendrick Daybreak, got another one of those. Elemental Saber Melo, meh. Bugini Centipede, meh. Call of the Archfiend. Actually, that could go incredibly well with the Dread Dragon. I mean, it's still a common card, so that's... That's that. Uh, ooh, what do we got here? Gateway Dragon. If opponent controls a link, ow. If opponent controls a link monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Gateway Dragon once per turn. I mean, it's, oh, I hate dealing with link, link cards. Oh well, Gateway Dragon. Wind Witch Winter Bell. Right here, let's see that. Wind Witch Winter Bell. It's tuner Monster, not bad. Or, I mean, a uh, Synchro. It's a pretty decent card. Star Seraph Scale. Ooh, look at that. Right there. Alright. It's a Fairy. 1500 attack, 900 defense, not bad. When this card is special summoned, you can special summon one Star Seraph monster from your hand. Then you can place one light monster from your graveyard on top of your deck. An XYZ monster that was summoned using three or more monsters, including this card in the field, gains this effect. Okay, so it's a pretty good uh, XYZ booster kind of card to it. Zodiac Cataroast Roost. Uh, common. Three Trolling Trolls. Common. Metal Morph. Well, I'll be damned. Target one face up monster on the field, equip this card to that target, it gains unit attack and defense. If it attacks, it gains attack equal to half the attack of the attack target during damage calculation only. That's good. That's a that's a spicy card right there. Target uh synchro cracker. Target one synchro monster you control, return it to the extra deck. If you do destroy all face up monsters. Ooh, that's actually not bad. I mean it's common, but it's still it's pretty good effect to it. Lincoln Breath Flyer, useless. Uh, Flower Cardian Moonflower Viewing. Interesting. Again, common though. So let's just summon this card as an effect monster. Altergeist Emulative. Emulative, yeah. Meh. And Space Insular. Alright. So, uh, not as good as last pack. I mean, we still, that was only half of this one, so let's move to the other one. Four decent cards. I'm excited about that Metal Morph. That's a good, that's a good uh, card right there. Flip it all around. I think they just throw in cards willy-nilly in here. Don't care if it's upside down or not. Or maybe it is all strategy. I don't know. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys that. Link turret. 
something. Guy, oh, that's not bad. Oh yeah, see right there. One of the cards that uh, third party, not in English. It's supposed to be Gaia the Fierce Knight, but as you can see, it's in like some sort of Spanish. Edición, yeah, that's Spanish, yeah, like that. So that's what it's gonna. That's what you kind of have to risk for third parties. Uh, luckily, it's a card that doesn't actually have an effect and is just its basic form, so or basic card. So I mean, if I was to play with it. I understand what it is and you know it's tributes same thing but uh, that's kind of a problem if it cards with effects and you don't understand what the hell is Spanish so I'm just gonna keep going through here alright paraform I've been getting a lot of those cards lately another skill dark magician alright ooh swords of revealing light Flip all monsters your opponent controls face up. This card remains on the field for three for three of your opponent's turns while this card is face up on the field. Monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. That's good. That's a good card. Especially if someone's playing very defensive with uh, flip up cards or uh, down face cards. Smile Universe. Oh, it's a Pendulum deck. Jack Wyvern. Uh, that's not, it's common. What do we got here? Okay. Rapid Raptor. Raid Raptor, Blade Burner, Falcon. Alright, Wing Beast. XYZ kind of card. Not bad. Ooh, what do we got here? Subterror. Nemesis Defender. Okay, I've actually gotten a few Subterrors now. Ooh. Here we go. I think this is probably the best card that we're going to get out of the deck. Other than Swords of Revealing Light. Right there. Gorilla Kite. Gorilla. Gorilla Kite. Oh, I don't know. This card is sent from the field to the graveyard and flip 500 damage to your point. You can only use this effect of Gorilla Kite once per turn. It's not bad. 500 damage to opponent. It's also got 1600 attack. So, you know, most common cards aren't going to actually be able to stop that. So once the uh, card does kill it, then there you go. Boom. It's like 500 damage. Zodiac Ram Ram. Common. Well then. Monster Reincarnation. Well then. Alright. Discard one card and target one monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. That's. Wow. That's actually, I would say that's. I would actually say this back. It is a way better than the last one. Just because the Swords of Revealing Light and Monster Reincarnation. That's nice. World Legacy Pawns. Alright. Magician's Robe. Uh, familiar Possessed. Dark. Mandric Daybreak. Trin Tendangle Trinity. And another Link card. That sucks. I wish they just didn't have Link cards, but... Anyways, Magician's Robe. That's not bad. If I had a main, you know, dark magician kind of deck, then that would be kind of more effective, but I don't. Alright, so those are the cards that I got from this deck, or the this pack. It's actually not bad. I'm really excited about the Swords of Revealing Light and Monster Reincarnation. Same with the Middle Morph. That's a good card too. Alright, so we got one more pack. All right, put that over there. All right, one more pack. Let's see what we can get. I'd be ecstatic if I get like a blue eyes white dragon or if I found like all five pieces of Exodia in here, all first edition too. That would be spicy. All right, so let's put that over there. Ooh, this feels like a thicker deck. Like they overpacked it a little bit. I guess I haven't actually been counting how many cards they usually put. Well, it should be equal up to 40, but... I don't know. This feels like a little more than 20 in this one. Hold on, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
No, it is funny. I don't know why, it just felt a lot thicker. So Primal Cry, we already got that. Balance of Judgment. If your opponent controls more cards than the combined number of cards in your hand, and that you control... Uh, no, that's not bad. People playing with like a... One of those hands, or one of those decks that like mass up their cards in their hand, then that's pretty good. Air Cracking Storm, common. Space Sensor, common. Solar Flare Dragon. This card cannot be attacked if there's another Pyro Monster on your side of the field. Ooh. Ooh. That's... It's a common, but... I'm gonna just put it as uh, one of the better cards, because that's pretty spicy. And what do we got here? Pacifist of Phantasm City. You cannot normal special summon effect monsters a turn you activate either of this card's effects. Once per turn, if you normal summon special exactly one normal monster and no other cards, add one Phantasm Spiral card from your deck to your hand. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Had I had a lot more Phantasm Spiral kind of cards, but... Oh, there we go. Another good card. Rider of the Storm Winds. 500 attack, 200 defense, only one uh, star, so it sucks. I mean, it's, it's a tuner. You can target one dragon normal monster you control. Equip this monster from your hand or field to that target. If a monster equipped with this card attacks a defense fishing monster, inflict piercing damage to your opponent. If a monster equipped with this card would be destroyed, destroy this card instead. Now see, if I can get a blue eyes white dragon deck, this card would be fantastic for it. Inflict piercing damage to an opponent, and if it's destroyed, if the car card that this is equipped to gets destroyed, this goes first. That's that's really good. World less world legacy scars. Right here, let's see what that is. All Mech Knight monsters on the field gain three hundred attack and defense. Whoa. Wow, actually that's... All Mech Knight monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn you can discard one Mech Knight monster or one World Legacy card, draw one card. So that's alright, that's meh. You can banish 8 Mech Knight monsters with different names from your graveyard and or face up from your field. Send your opponent's entire hand and extra deck to the graveyard. So put that in the right deck and that actually could dismantle an entire person's plans. Morphtronic Engine, uh, common, I mean I knew it was common anyways. Predaplant Dragon, Dragostopel, wow I don't even know how this, I don't know how they come up with half these names. One Fusion Monster, one Dark Monster, uh, I say that's common anyways. Torrential Tribute, when a monster is summoned, destroy all monsters on the field. Wow! All right, that's a that's car. That's a car that if you're backed up in a corner, is perfect for a perfect situation for that. Target one face down car on the field. Destroy that target, then discard one card. Dark World Light. That's not bad actually. Get rid of a, either a spell card or a high end monster. Three strikes barrier. Nah. Flower Cardian. Flower. Cardian Moonflower Viewing. Got that card already in a earlier deck. Trickster Bloom. Insector Pisophilenia. Desktop Base. Crawling Riveneer. Mm. Mask of Weakness. This card can only be equipped in the battle phase. Select one attacking monster and increase. Decrease the selected monster's attack by 7 points during the card. During the turn. That's actually not bad. Just because 700 attack gone that's that's a pretty hefty big boy that could definitely change the duel all right and so we're at the end of the final pack last cards let's see let's hope we get and get something a little more spicier in this uh turn that around upside down Alright. Ah, 
Okay, Graveskeeper, Spiritualist, mm, Common, Dino Mist, Eruption. If a Dino Mist monster you control is destroyed by battle card, target one opponent, target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Well, that's not bad. I mean, if you have a Dino Mist kind of deck, Mist Mistar Boy, eh, Boral Regenerator, Primal Cry, Emerging Emergency Rescue Rescue. What? No. Common. Royal Legacy. Mind. Mind Meld. Right. Blessings of the Nile. Ooh. Each time cards are discarded from your hand to the graveyard by the effect of a card controlled by your opponent, increase your life points by a thousand. So actually, uh, one of those cards I pulled out, the Mech Knight one, if they had that and they discarded my entire hand, I'd be pretty happy about that still. That's like, I don't know, roughly probably like 5,000 life points. It's still common, so, oh well. Another Rider of the Storm wins. Alright, that's that's pretty good. Another one of that. Oh, on the link card. Ritual Beast Alti. Interesting. This card requires two Ritual Beasts. I mean, is that... I just hate link cards. I just don't. Mostly just because I don't understand them. So I'll put that over there just because, well, it's nice. Plan, planting, plankton? I don't know. I'm just going to say plankton. Right there. Let's see what it's got. Apply these effects until the end of this turn. Rank 3 or lower mo XYZ monsters gain 500 attack and defense. Rank 4 or higher XYZ monsters cannot attack. Okay, so I see. So if you're going to be using an XYZ kind of deck, you put this in one that has rank 3 or lower. Because if you have rank 4 or higher, then, well, you kind of just screwed yourself into losing. That's Psychic Reactor. That's interesting. Activate only when you face have a... Activate only if you control a face-up Psychic Monster. This turn, when a face-up attack psychic type monster you control battles an opponent's monster, remove both monsters from play. So I mean, if you had like a crappy psychic monster with like I don't know 500 attack, you could attack their monster, activate this trap, and then remove both without suffering any damage. That's I mean that's pretty good. Before uh, now nah, pendulum, I don't cares. Crawler spine. Common. Trap hole. When your opponent normal or flip summons a mon monster with a thousand more attack, target that monster, destroy the target. Now that's good. That is. That's pretty spicy. Crawler run beer. Shadow construct. Back, background dragon. This card is in the graveyard and you control no cards. You can special summon both this card and one level 4 or lower dragon monster from your hand in defense position. But banish this card when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect. Oh. It's not bad. Common, but still, not bad. Crystal Conclave. Oh, that's the end of it. Yeah. Alright. So, I don't know. Actually, from those three decks, that's not too shabby of cards, especially for Dollarama. I've opened up a few packs already from Dollar Ram and like I wouldn't say any of them were half decent. But other than that, like that's that's still pretty good. You know? You could definitely uh you'd have to buy way more packs to actually like get something decent, like build a decent deck out of these. But, you know, these are some pretty powerful cards to actually have in your deck. Little, you know, if you want to fine tune your deck a little bit more, some of these cards are perfect for it. Especially Rider of the Stormwinds. You have uh, like a high-end dragon type deck with that, with these cards. You're you're in the safe zone. You're gonna easily win some games. All right, so that's all I have. If you guys enjoyed the content, hit that like and subscribe button. I also stream on Twitch. Uh, I usually just stream Black Ops and other games like Gun Through the Gungeon and uh, Binding of Isaac, kind of games like that. I do. Uh, I will start doing more Yu-Gi-Oh opening kind of decks later 
in uh, my YouTube life. But uh, this is my actual first opening deck, so as you can see, it's a little rough all around the edges. But, you know, I'll fine tune it. For $12, though, like, that's a. If you're a beginner, you know, and you're opening up all these cards, or you want to kind of start rough somewhere, going to the dollar store and buying, like, I don't know, eight packs for $4, like, that's. That's pretty good. Like, this is only three packs, and it's it's pretty hefty. Like, damn, that's, yeah, that's pretty hefty. So, like, I don't know, if you wanted to start somewhere, just go to the dollar store, buy some packs. Sure, you could easily make a deck. It may not be, like, the best deck, but you could easily start one off. But, yeah, if you guys enjoy the content, then that's great. Hit that like and subscribe, as I said earlier. And, uh, thanks for watching.